Travis Wayne Goodsell. It's another day to be alive. Oh, man. It's a cold one out there this morning. Near freezing. About just a few degrees. Oh, man. Mormons. Uh, Rachel Maddow on MSNBC uh, really put it boldly to us, and I'm glad. Finally, a reporter um, spoke how it is. We cannot rely on Trump. He lies. He's been holding daily press conferences about coronavirus and isn't doing a single thing. He's not given the masks, he's not given respirators, he's not given money. He's all talking about pie in the sky stuff. And what's interesting is that I think he's got the vaccine. Because there's no way he could have been in, in exposed to people with coronavirus and not get it himself unless he has the vaccine. Do you understand what that means? As he's neglecting America and he's talking about, oh, it's all a hoax, oh, there's a vaccine, oh, everything's fine. He's inoculated. There are certain key tells and patterns of Trump's behavior that we've been able to watch over these years. He's inoculated. That's why he's not concerned. That's why he keeps strolling around shaking people's hands. And he's a germaphobe. He doesn't like shaking people's hands. But, uh, anyway. And yesterday, he thanked charities and religions for taking care of people. What has the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints done to take care of people? They closed. They closed. Plain and simple. And I warned you. I've been warning you the whole time. These are the latter days. This is Armageddon. This is the enemy's version of Armageddon, the way they interpret it, the way they want it implemented. This is the fulfillment of prophecy. However you think prophecy is supposed to be interpreted, this is it. This is how it's going to be done. In the history books, this is it. All the biblical signs in the heavens have all occurred. I've gone over all of them in publications, on my old website, on my old YouTube channel, on this channel. This is it. You don't have signs and then wait another 150 some odd years in the future for something to happen. No, this is it. We've been warned. And the church closed. They didn't warn us. They didn't prepare. They're not doing anything to help. They closed. I mean, the, the signs were all there that they're not the true church. It took my researching of LDS history to realize that. And it's too late for the world. 
You guys do understand that uh, this TV season is the last one we'll ever have. They're not going to have a fall season of episodes. Nobody's working. The whole entertainment industry shut down. So there will be no uh, filming of new shows, new movies. This is it. This is all we get. And some of them have been extended, like the James Bond movie. I mean, yay, we'll have something seven months from now. But, uh, this is it. You know, cartoons and anime, that's all we'll get. We'll be like Japan. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just unbelievable I mean uh, all the things the church should have been doing could have been doing and just aren't because they closed I'll even give you a bombshell told you so moment uh, remember ordained women that evil apostate group trying to give women the priesthood and elevate women to equality with men turn to Romans 16 I mean you're not going to be able to see it in our uh, incorrectly translated King James Version but uh, a servant for Phoebe She's a deacon. That's right, a deacon. You know, the list in the New Testament of the, the organization must have these specific classifications and offices. Deacon. Phoebe is a deacon. Phoebe is a woman. But it gets better. Remember Jania? That's feminine. That's a woman. She's an apostle like Paul, not a twelve apostle, like Paul, who is a regular apostle. The church used to have uh, regular apostles. Joseph Smith got it started, and then uh, I think Monson was one, or he was just an assistant, but uh, I think they were also called apostles. But uh, there, that whole, it never made it into a quorum like Paul was a part of. And so, can you imagine Mormons having elders, 70, bringing back the 70, uh, high priests, which now are gone because Nelson took them away, and apostles. Can you imagine having apostles? What would that have been like? But uh, the Christian world knows it. They found a, uh, a little, um, uh, I don't know what they're called. It's, it's a little uh, shrine or uh, alcove or whatever was used to uh, be a place of worship and uh, the mosaics uh, clearly show the woman Jania portrayed on the mosaics women held office with the uh, organization of the early church and Joseph Smith gave it to women he gave them the priesthood in uh, March 17th 1842 Emma became the Relief Society president which is the woman's president the women's version of it 
woman's president of the church. But Brigham Young did away with all of that. Not just doing away with blacks having the priesthood, doing away with uh, uh, our, our God. He changed our God. Made Adam Heavenly Father. Changed the temple. Gave us g magic underwear. That was Brigham Young. All Brigham Young. He lied about polygamy in order to institute polygamy. Saying, oh, it was Joseph. He was practicing it in secret. Oh, uh, yeah, Book of Mormon? No, we don't do the Book of Mormon. It's a racist book. So we're taking away the priesthood from blacks because of the Book of Mormon being racist. See, he just, he turned everything upside down. And Mormons had to obey or die because he ordered death penalty punishments and blood atonement. Put Mormons into a state of fear. Put Mormons into a state of suspicion. Put Mormons into a state of abuse. He became king. And you cannot dethrone a king unless the American government comes in and removes you from power. As what happened. In uh, Mosiah 29. <coughs> <coughs> uh, I got morning uh, coffee. So don't be concerned, I don't have coronavirus. Verse 17. For how much iniquity doth one wicked king cause to be committed? Yea, and what great destruction. Do you understand that's what Trump's doing? Do you understand what's going to happen with the church refusing to open up the welfare square, bishop storehouses, get the production rolling. They weren't prepared. They talk about being prepared. You know, having a year's supply, but apparently it's only us. They aren't prepared. They're hypocrites. They told us to be prepared, and they're not prepared. This is the time where we need a year supply, at least. And none of us were prepared because the church gave up on us. Yea, remember King Noah, his wickedness and abominations. The church taught Mormons to be the way they are now, to be bullies to be blind. I'll try to remember the uh, uh, Great and Abominable Church. We'll get to that. And also the wickedness and abominations of his people. Behold what great destruction did come upon them. And also because of their iniquities they were brought into bondage. When you commit crimes iniquities uh, you live your life in fear because it's a survival of the fittest now because people are going to be upset that you violated their rights to life liberty property committed crimes against them and so they want to retaliate And when they retaliate, then you have to put up your defenses. You have to be on guard all the time. You know, the dread pirate Roberts had to stay awake all night. Because, you know, the dread pirate Roberts might kill Wesley. <laughs> but that's, that's how you live under survival of the fittest conditions. That's what the enemy has done to us. They've threatened our lives, and now we have to fight for survival. Remember, if you don't take up the sword, you must needs flee to Zion. Where's Zion? 
it's gone. The church isn't even attempting to build it because they closed. And so it goes on to go into more detail on what they do. And that's exactly what the church has done. But let's get to the great and abominable. First Nephi chapter 13. And uh, he sees the great and abominable church, sees the devil as the founder of it. And uh, it's not that devil actually appears and has a dedication ceremony for the church. I mean, come on. Is there any of you who actually think that? No. It's through here, our minds. We get inspired by corruption. We get inspired by wickedness. And we produce corrupt fruit versus listening to the true spirit that I went over yesterday and we produce good fruit and by our fruits we shall be known who we serve is revealed in our fruits Mormons when you are mean when you are abusive when you are bullies when you are ignorant when you are going around lying about the church on behalf of the church that's from the devil and that's what you just do not understand but uh, seven he sees wealth the great and abominable church is wealthy gold and silver silks and scarlets fine twine linen all manner of precious clothing does the church have that yes they do you ever been in a temple they're spending multi billions of dollars for the renovation of the Salt Lake Temple as they've closed people are dying and the church is out of business waiting for a future time when the temple will reopen that's a tell they knew about this virus too I wonder if they have the vaccine I saw, and I saw many harlots. Polygamy. Do you understand what that makes you women? You're harlots. Your ancestors of Brigham Young and the others, elite, who were allowed to have polygamous wives. Because once you have polygamous polygamy, guess what? there's going to be a shortage of wives for other men and so at least Brigham Young provided brothels yay oh gee I can get a disease today but that's the great and abominable church right here in the Book of Mormon staring everybody in the face as Mormons said, okay, God is great, yay, Adam, Heavenly Father. And also for the praise of the world do they destroy the saints of God. <coughs> they didn't close for protection. They did it as part of the conspiracy against the of the world, not just America, the world. They got an arranged deal to restore the kingdom of Deseret when this is all said and done. When America has been purged, subjected, and controlled, the church will be granted their kingdom again. And they aren't going to implement polygamy. I told you this. That's what they're going to do. They're destroying the saints 
the Mormons. That's who the saints are. This is a prophecy, guys. This is why we're called Latter-day Saints. There were other Christian groups at the time who did call their members saints also. <clears throat> because they didn't like the Catholic Church keeping selected people for saints. You know, like St. Patrick. St. David, even. His day was on the 1st of March. And it's not King David. It's a different David. <clears throat> This is the great and abominable church, guys. This is what you were supposed to be looking through the Book of Mormon, making a checklist so that you can say, okay, Joseph is good. Wait a minute, Brigham Young, what's he doing? Wait a minute, he's violating everything here. What's going on? He's bad. I need to stay away. Oops. And bring them down into captivity. And this is why I wanted to come here to talk about this. If you had been using your Book of Mormons, Mormon, you would recognize Lucifer's plan is to take away agency, put people into captivity and bondage, take away their rights to life, liberty, and property. That's what captivity is. That's what bondage is. Look at us now. Trump shut down America. He closed the borders. We're trapped. We've got a virus killing people as Trump does nothing. We are in bondage. We are being told to stay at home. This is the new world order you once heard about. This was the plot of the Illuminati that infiltrated the Scottish Rites that Joseph Smith Sr. thwarted back in 1826. Joseph Smith Sr. He's the one who caused the anti-Mason movement because he rescued William Morgan. Joseph Smith Sr. was the Master Mason of the York Rites Lodge where William Morgan was arrested. It was Joseph Smith Sr. who orchestrated his escape. That's why he was among the first baptisms for the dead and why they took care of his widow. They had to make it believe that he was dead and the courts granted it because the certain time limit ran out still hasn't been found therefore he was legally dead he ended up in Honduras banana plantation owner go figure but uh, you have to do the research Mormons the Smiths tried to save America from the threat, from the destruction of the king men who were coming to destroy America and its constitution and return America to a monarchy. You'd been warned. It was right here the whole time. And you just let it go. Oh, we thank thee, O oh God, for a living prophet. Crickets. Mormon crickets. Nothing but Mormon crickets. And so we now understand that all the times they told us to have a year supply, all the times that Heber C. Kimball prophesied that Salt Lake City would be among the wickedest cities in the world, that wasn't a prophecy. That was revealing they knew the plans of destruction and were helping to orchestrate them and only those loyalists in the church to evil to Lucifer would understand and be protected but again Mormons the devil does not protect his own 
It's not simple. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go running now, and then upload this when I get back. Man, that means I have to do an extra load of laundry to do the sweats as I go running. <laughs> oh well. This is it. Life as we know it is over. And it looks like I am fulfilling Ether and Moroni being the last man surviving to record the destruction of our people, of mankind, even. We've been warned. <sighs>